Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your boy Ashley Gaming. Well, if you're new to the channel, guys, I would like to kill, murder, and smash that little subscribe button, and also to ring that bell notification because when I drop a brand new video, it's you. He's gonna get notified. Alright, so without any further ado, guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna uh, show you how you how you would um, use this uh, the Zen PP, okay, Zen plus plus console all right a lot of people are getting are uh, facing issues when you using this they don't know uh, maybe the um, uh, swede mafia hasn't released any videos uh, tutorial about how to use this but i'm gonna show you full step by step okay so before we start that guys uh if you haven't liked the video give a like on the videos that would mean a lot to me okay all right so let's begin okay the first thing that you want to do when you open this um zen pp all right after you've extract the zen pp onto your desktop it's going to create a folder containing all of these things okay so first thing first guys so what you want to do you want to right click run this as admin okay i've already installed it as you can see for me it says repair and uninstall so you're gonna install this after you've installed it restart your pc okay you will you'll be prompted to restart your pc to fully use this okay all right the next step is you wanna open this okay so if you're using windows uh 11 windows 11 pro with the latest build when you hit open it's going to look something like this okay yeah it's going to work like this as well but you you can as well right click here and run it as admin hit yes and this is going to open in a real cmd in a real command prompt window all right <coughs> here all you have is to write the word connect okay okay so once you uh press once you write connect here and you press enter you will see like connecting to blah 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 firmware version so you can see my firmware i'm on uh, beta 68 firmware that is a ps5 firmware you will be able to see my serial my chronosin serial number and these are my settings so right now the emulator app protocol is set to auto and i have these on ps4 specialty disabled playstation remote play disabled okay all right <coughs> and the next step guys now listen carefully say you you want to add one script okay all right so you wanna of course you wanna add a script okay so we we will use command prompts commands okay uh we, we will use commands to uh successfully add any of these scripts okay into uh this and this will send the scripts directly onto our corner zen okay all right so first of all let's uh let's give it a try okay so all you have to do is to write set all right space all right so uh this one say for for example i'm gonna copy this because i want it into slot number one okay so i'm gonna set this and then all right so let's see what will happen set space and then just quickly rename this thing okay copy all and just uh, right click here all right but don't forget that you need to specify okay set which slots okay so we've already used number one right here so next set 
uh, under the slot number two space this okay hit enter and now set I'm gonna test one last script uh, which one high water maybe I'm gonna use this one let's test this one I just uh, the latest version this one is uh, 116 okay 116 all right okay so I'm gonna right set slot number three and paste this thing okay so let's add another slot okay so let me add uh, Apollo uh, and guys whenever you're ready just write program right here just write program and hit enter okay so see how fast this is going all right as you can see successfully six and you will see like this successfully flash the game pack high water all right successfully flash the, the game pack apollo bin to slot number four and all right so yeah thanks so much for watching guys i hope this was a full tutorial about it uh definitely give this video for a thumbs up and subscribe okay don't forget to ring that bell notification